welcome to that oil show and Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> we made it to All the right, end of the year. We made it, we made it <laughs> to the end of the year. Wow. Okay, so it's the holidays. There's so much going on. Um, and today we're going to be talking about the skin. And um, our skin is such an important organ. It's our largest organ yes. yep. that we have. And, you know, we talked about in a previous episode um, about gut health. And we want to revisit that a little bit because um, our skin is the window to our gut. And so having healthy skin is um, first starts from the inside. And so healthy skin inside and out. And so I brought out here a lot of different supplements that we have from Young Living that supports our healthy skin from the inside out. And, you know, of course, Ning Shred is always at the top, uh, always important for every cell, every organ. Um, but also we have um, some of the beauty challenges that people have been doing lately. Um, I For quite a while, we've seen people do... Um, the CBD Beauty Boost Challenge. Yes. Do y'all love that? Love love it. Has love anybody it. done this one? Yes. yes. And so, um, somebody want to share? What, what do you do? What's the CBD Beauty Boost? Boop. Beauty, beauty, beauty Boost the Challenge. Boost. <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> it's a beauty boost. <laughs> the Beauty Boost is a different show. It's a show. <laughs> Come back next month for exercise. <laughs> Right. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So, anybody want to share what you do with your beauty boost yeah, challenge? I mean, I don't remember. You know, well, let me just say, I I didn't necessarily do the challenge, but this is everybody has to have it. Everybody who's everybody who likes their skin, and I don't need, just put it. I know, I know, it's in a little dropper, but let me say, I don't just put it on my face. I put it on my decollete. <laughs> And then I also put it on those places like my hands, y'all. I'm yes. older, yes. and I feel like my hands yeah. show my age, or eventually mm -hmm. will show my age. So I put that on my hands after, like I put it on my face. I put it on, you know, all here, and then I put it here. Um, and I like absolutely love how my skin feels. So I do it at night. I don't waste it for the daytime because I'm about to put makeup on it. Uh, my face, but I put it at night, and then in the morning, my skin feels like so plump and hydrated mm -hmm. um i don't know if you've had this guys beauty bloggers those that put on makeup where you have like cakey and it just looks like really yucky on your skin your makeup this will help it tremendously now not before you put your makeup on but the night before you're gonna wake up with fresh plump hydrated skin it is amazing i love this thing. it is so amazing i love it, I love it at night i too. have extremely dry skin dry hair just dry and I use it on my skin and I love it before bedtime because I wake up feeling like brand new skin in yes. the morning. But I also do it a little bit and put it on the ends of my hair. Because yes. for the hair. Yes, and it makes that. my hair just feel like normal hair instead of straw. <laughs> Well, I, I know a lot of people that use this as a hair treatment on their scalp, the yeah. CBD Beauty Boost, yeah. um, for Space. overnight treatment. Mm -hmm. Now, with the Beauty Boost Challenge, here's what the challenge is. It is yes. for at least 30 days, but I always usually do like 60 days, um, where you're using the CBD Beauty Boost at least at night. You could use it, like if I'm going through the day and I know I'm not going to put makeup on and it's just a run errand day and do stuff around the house, right. I will put it on in the morning. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just love to have it on through the day. Um, but then the second part of that is taking longevity vitality in capsules internally. Mm -hmm. And so longevity, let me just put a little plug in for this antioxidant mm -hmm. because it is a fat soluble antioxidant. We need both fat soluble mm -hmm. and water soluble. Our nature red gives us the water soluble antioxidants. Our longevity oil blend gives us our fat soluble antioxidants and so um i love how gary named it longevity because you know as you said in a previous po uh, episode talia you said you know oxidation is going to happen but the longer the more we can delay we can extend the life of the cell yes. the more it gives us longevity yeah. in in our life and in, in, in our environment sucks our antioxidants out of us because mm -hmm. we can't really control you know as much as we are the gatekeeper of our home um, and we're the gatekeepers of what we put in our bodies we don't always we can't always control the things in our environment like you know pollution and 
um, you know, riding around in your car and exhaust, those things cause oxidation too. And the first place you're gonna notice that is on your skin because yeah. your skin is what faces the world. For sure. um, and so when you use antioxidants, mm -hmm. it's like you wanna have a, a store up of them in your body. So as you need them, they're there ready. And because when, you, when you're out of balance, you have more oxidation than you have antioxidants, that's when you start to age and your mm -hmm. skin starts to, you know, maybe look a little saggy and you just don't feel like you have energy. And so that's, you know, when we just getting tons of those antioxidants in, we yeah. look better and we feel better. And so a lot of people will take a whole capsule mm -hmm. of longevity. That's a lot. Um, I think um, there's a couple ways that you can do it. Some people will start off with like six drops of longevity vitality in a capsule, start off with one a day, and then you can work up to like six, three times a day. Um, six drops in a capsule three times a day um, until, you know, the bottle's gone. With that, you you're gonna need a couple of bottles of mm -hmm. the longevity vitality. And so, um, but doing that 30 to 60 days, I mean, you really, I've seen so many amazing mm -hmm. before and after pictures mm -hmm. um, with these two products. And don't they use, together. when they do that, don't they do like the roller oh, the, or the, the, the wash stone, stone or the, or the roller. jade roller? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, yes, you can do that because you know, moving your, lymph, lymphatic, your yes, lymphatic system absolutely. right, and there's lymph, lymph challenges and all kinds of great things like that. Science. Hi, I'm Talia. And I'm Wendy. And this is, is a science, science highlight. Today we are highlighting frankincense as a skin supporting oil. When it comes to supporting our health, we need to think in terms of body systems. Then whenever a disease or a health challenge hits you. First of all, we have to identify the body system that we need to support. And then we can use the right products and the body will heal itself. So Talia, when I say the word frankincense, what body system do you think of? It supports the skin. That's right. Frankincense supports the skin. When we think of frankincense, we think of the skin immediately. It's a healthy skin supporting oil. I use it for all things skin. Now I'm not gonna name any names, just know your skin loves frankincense. It's attracted to frankincense and it will use it to support it however it needs. It's like giving ammo to soldiers. Frankincense is the ammo that your skin specifically can use to provide proper support. Pew, 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 pew. Frankincense is used in exquisite spas and skincare clinics around the world. And it's been shown to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles in your skin. And preclinical studies on PubMed.gov has shown positive evidence that frankincense supports the healthy replication of DNA. In other words, frankincense is for your skin. Whether you just want to promote its health or prevent its aging, support your skin with frankincense. Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Max. And we're Farm Junkies. And we're here at the Mona, Utah farm. And we wanna show you the difference between some raw material. So this is the raw material of juniper. And this is raw material that has been harvested goldenrod. And juniper, because it is a tree and a, a conifer, it has to go through the chipper and to be able to fit in the cookers. With goldenrod, they'll use a, a machine that'll just cut it off at the ground and, and then it'll be uh, set out to cure for a little bit, but it doesn't run through the chipper. That's too aggressive for goldenrod. It's just chopped up as, as they've uh, mowed it and brought it in to, to cure. And with juniper, some people might think, well, I thought you could only do conifers in the winter. We have winter harvest, but the oils, yes, are in the roots and do the very best in the tree, get up inside the tree whenever it's colder. However, we can still distill and receive oils from a tree all year round. So in viney plants like goldenrod, lavender, melissa, those, are, those have to be harvested before the plant goes dormant while the oils and the, and the compounds are still in the, the plant material. So those are brought in again, and sometimes they have to cure. Oregano has to cure a few days. Peppermint has to cure a few days before they actually can put it in the distillery to start the distillation process. 
But another um, great challenge for the skin is with our collagen. Yes. I love this stuff. Yes. This stuff is love so it. great. Our inner beauty collagen. Yes. Okay, ladies, tell the stories. What are your stories? What do you feel? So I, I was taking it um, probably not even a whole month. And Sarah stopped me and she said, are you taking the collagen? And I was like, yeah. She goes, you look like your skin is so much tighter. <laughs> I was like, you look like you got a bit of, you know, a bit of a facelift or something. But your skin looks amazing. Yeah. And it looks like really tight and like. And yeah. that's from the collagen. The collagen. So, yeah. And not even that long. How, many, how long were you No, talking? it was like three weeks when she noticed it. So it wasn't even a whole month yet. And she, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, and so with our uh, inner beauty collagen, okay, this is type one collagen. Mm -hmm. Type one collagen is for um, skin, hair, and nails. It's for um, soft tissue. It's for ligaments and even your intestines. And yeah, um, and it and it's very important. Now, type two collagen, which we have in Agilis, mm -hmm. um, is for um, cartilage and for joints. And so there is a difference there. And so I'm so thankful that we have this collagen. It's a powder. Um, you can add it to anything you want i mean we'll add it i'll add it to my red drink with my ningxia red and sulfur zyme in the morning um i know people that have been okay we have someone in our team that adds collagen to peanut butter and then makes the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for their kids wow. to get the collagen wow. in. That's and i was hard. like that That's is hard. like <laughs> Because it's, for most people, it's, yeah. it has no taste or flavor. Now, yeah. there are some people that can taste it, have it, it's, have it taste. It's from fish. It's, it's marine collagen, which is an amazing yeah. collagen mm -hmm. for us. And so some people, you know, can smell or taste it, but a lot of people can't. Okay. But yeah, I can't either. It's taste free. I, taste and I can. I'm extremely sensitive. And the only time, and I, when they introduced it, I ate it out of my hand just to see if it had a taste. And I did not find that it had a taste. However, I did find that when I mixed it in water, I found that that flavor came out just a little bit. And it wasn't like, yeah. I mean, if you just wanted to quick swig it down, you could do that. Um, but overall, you can really, it doesn't over, it doesn't add any kind of flavor, it doesn't overpower any flavor um, of whatever you're putting it in. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people will yeah. love to put it with their Balance Complete mm -hmm. shakes, your protein, milk, mm -hmm. your protein. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. and uh, again with your Ningxia Red, but like there's uh, some people put it with their coffee. tea or coffee, or um, you can get creative. Get creative so with that. Turmeric, because the turmeric tea, yes. I love it in the turmeric tea. The, our golden turmeric, mm -hmm. yes, and then add the collagen mm -hmm. in with that. And so there's a lot of people doing their collagen challenge, and you can do your before and after pictures. And then there's some people adding all these together. And it's so like, I personally okay. noticed, I didn't really, I'm really waiting for it to get rid of this line in my forehead. But until <laughs> then, um, I noticed that I have always struggled to grow fingernails, always, always. And my fingernails are growing, growing insanely fast. Um, wow. Yes. Okay. And I've just, have always had kind of thin nails. And since I've been taking this, yes. no more. Wow. Some people have a lot of hair growth mm -hmm. and a lot faster hair growth. Mm -hmm. And so it isn't, you know, it's, it's been a newer product this, you know, over the past year. And so we keep getting all of these really neat testimonies. And, and one thing I do want to note is that when your body is, is in need of nutrients is depleted in some area when you take in any nutrients when you use your oils as supplements they're going to go to the places that it needs it the most mm -hmm. so while like for me i've had these lines since i was a little girl and maybe just you know this is but you know if i'm taking collagen it's like i want to get rid of these but what if my body there's other places that that i need it mm -hmm. and so for me i've noticed around my eyes it's a lot tighter, more firm, my skin feels more firm, my hair is growing faster. And so, um, but but I, I I don't want anybody to get disappointed if they're taking it. It's like, I want it for this one thing. Because you mentioned right. earlier that it's also good for like intestines. Yes. So yes. what if when you're taking ligaments. it, your body's like, oh, I need it in the intestines or I need it in ligaments. Yeah. ligaments. You're Soft not gonna tissue. see yeah. that. 
on your skin. Yeah. On but your you might feel it, so pay attention to the way that you're feeling yes. Yes. in addition to the way you look. You know, it's always a good idea to journal. Mm -hmm. you know, sure. During your health journey, your wellness journey, yes. journaling and keeping track of what are, you know, what's your 90 day health goal and what products are you using? And it, it kind of helps doing that helps me to really tweak what I'm doing. It's like, okay, um, I'm going to add this now and see how I feel and see how this works. And then in another 30 days, I'm going to reevaluate and mm -hmm. see what I want to add more of or try some another oil or another few oils that are different. Mm -hmm. And so journaling is just so um, important. But but yeah, you you can have benefits from these products in ways that you never thought. Mm -hmm. Skincare. How many of y'all have a skincare routine with your Young Living Essential Oils or with your supplement? I mean, excuse me, with your oils or your products? Yes, all of us do. Um, okay, let us go around kind of sharing what we do if we can. Is that cool? Diego, we'll start with you. Um, I like to use the, the balance um, cleanser, toner, and, and um, moisturizer. The moisturizer. And then uh, the acne cream. Too. Yes. Okay, so when you use this, are you using this morning and evening? Are you using it just morning, or how? What does that routine look like? Usually at, at night. At night, yes. yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, um, what about you, Ethan? Basically the same with me: balance and acne. Uh, okay. Uh, morning and night. Morning and night, awesome. And what about you, Abby? Um, same. I use the balance and the acne cream. I'm supposed to do it morning and night, but I don't always. <laughs> so I usually somebody's honest. I me. usually do it just at night. I'm saying it's just not you. <laughs> Sometimes it's me too. Okay. All right. What about you, Faith? Uh, I use the balance cleanser, and then I use the toner, the balance toner, and then I use progescence on my oh. face um, for my acne. Okay. And then I put on the lotion, and then I use the acne cream. Okay. Man, I'm getting a lot of new tips from you today. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, um, so out of your those cleaning pro products and this their facial stuff, what is your favorite oil um, that you put on your skin? Whether it's on your face, whether it's a nighttime routine on your body, what does that look like? There's one at the tip of my tongue. There's one. It's in a green. What color? Bottle? Okay. It's green. It starts with a K. Uh, Kunzia. 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 Yes. Yeah. I use that for uh, dark spots. So, you know, acne scars, mm. we all have them. Yes. That's what I put on my acne scars. Wow. Are y'all taking notes? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Anything, any other product besides the, the ones that have been mentioned? Whenever I have like a bad pimple, I'll put toothpaste on it before I go to sleep, the thief's toothpaste. There you go. And then it'll usually dry it up overnight. And yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm Laura and I'm joined by Audrey, Ava Hopkins. And we are going to show you how to make our favorite peppermint brownies. Now, a lot of people think peppermint brownies are just for the holidays. And yes, they are holiday inspired, but you can make them anytime you want because they are delicious, right? And so of course the star of this one is going to be our peppermint vitality oil. Today we're going to be using, you can use any brownie recipe you want to, but I have chosen to use the einkorn flour recipe, um, Young Living Einkorn Flour Recipe from Heidi Ellis's book. And it is the brownie recipe of her mother-in-law, Andrea. They're called Andrea's Brownies. And so today I'm gonna, we're going to show you how to do these. It's one pot. That's the other thing I love about it as a mom. So we have melted um, three-fourths cup of butter, and then we have unsweetened chocolate. You can use different types of chocolate. I have not yet experimented with using the pure protein, pure protein complete chocolate with this, but that's something on my bucket list. So now that I've suggested it, somebody out there is going to do it and tell us how to, what the portions are. Um, what we're going to do now, um, Audrey, could you grab the coconut sugar? So you're going to do, it's two cups of coconut sugar, and you're going to add it right in there to the liquid, and you stir around. Ava, I have a special job for you now. What? I want you to put in the eggs. Can you do the eggs? Can you, what, let's do this one first. Okay. Can you drop an egg? Yes. 
Good job. Good. Very good. I'll put it back there. We do it one at a time. And her, she recommends doing it one at a time. Don't do it yet. Because you want to make sure. And if you have this on the stove and you're doing it on the stove, you have to be careful that you don't scramble the eggs because the heat can do that. So I have actually scrambled the eggs before. So you want to <laughs> watch out for that. Okay, go ahead, Ava. Next one. Awesome job. All right, Audrey is going to help now. Um, crack. Ava, can you crack it? You want to crack? No, I want Audrey to crack. You want Audrey to crack it? Okay. Yes, but then I want to pour. You want to? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Audrey cracks and you pour. Sounds like a plan. So these eggs are going to kind of give more of that moisture to the batter with just the butter and the sugar. It was pretty thick. Go ahead, crack it. There you okay. go. Nice job. Audrey has been in. The, she used okay, to make ready? me Get breakfast. Your hand. Get your hand. Crack the eggs when she was no, your age, Ava girl. Oh, the egg. Yep. Okay, if Mom is ready for us. Okay, come on, bring it in. Ready? Yeah, there we go. There. All right. So three eggs, right there into the batter. It's starting to get really nice and moist. And then we're gonna all the liquids. So usually a lot of times in cake batters or brownie batters, you do the liquids together, then you do the flour, you know, the dry ingredients and mix them together. We're just doing it all in one pot. We don't believe in too many dirty dishes around here. So Ava, that is the vanilla. So if you wanna pour the teaspoon of vanilla extract in there. Awesome. And hold on, we're gonna let, I'm gonna let Audrey pour the flour in. So we're gonna do that a little bit at a time. This is a cup of einkorn flour. Good. And whenever we do einkorn flour, um, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, einkorn flour, go ahead, is an ancient grain, and Young Living grows einkorn on its farms in France and in Tabiona, Utah. And so for those of you who are not familiar with it, it has only 14 chromosomes, which the average um, flour, the wheats out there are highly genetically modified. And so we like einkorn because it's ancient, because it's gonna have fewer chromosomes, it's not genetically modified, and it's so much easier to digest for, our, for ourselves. So even though we're, we added sugar, we're having these sweet treats, we're still taking care of our digestive systems, we're still making good choices with the flour that we're using, so. Mama, are these the brownies that we had around Christmas time last year? Yes. Everyone can remember? Yes, I, these are brownies that we were able to serve. We have a holiday party for all of our Young Living family, and so this is, um, this is something that we have served. Brownies. I like, I like a little no, sea salt. Hold on, baby. I like a little sea salt. We're gonna add that. Probably should add that a little sooner. Um, but we've almost got it all incorporated. Some people like to add the oil with the fat. Now there is, there's a school of thought, if you add the oil at the beginning, whenever you add the, have the butter, that it actually infuses a little better. So when you're making a spaghetti sauce, or you're making something savory, um, and like say an oregano, people say, well, take a toothpick and stir it around in there. That can really work well so it doesn't overpower the rest whenever you add the oil to the fat. Okay, keep going. Okay. Ava, when Audrey's ready, you can pour the rest of the flour. But if you really want, um, the, infusing it, the oil with the fat kind of makes it more mellow. But if you add the oil towards the end, when you have a batter, it's gonna make it more pronounced. So I like to add my Vitality oil um, at the end and really incorporate it, and it's got a really aromatic, uh, the aromatic just in the kitchen yes. is phenomenal, but even whenever you, you are cutting them, you will Good smell job. the peppermint. Um, you want no, the peppermint wait. to be strong. So. That's okay. Good job. I think you got it all. Good, Good job, sister. Good job, baby. So they're pouring that, they're gonna get all of that incorporated. Of course, if you wanna add chopped pecans, we're gonna do that um, with this one just because it's fun and adds a little texture. And you can, of course, try different flavors. Orange brownies, orange is a, is a good thing that goes with chocolate, cinnamon bark. Um, just experiment to see what you like and what your family likes. So a lot of people shudder, because I add, I'm gonna add five drops. Some people think that's a lot, but I like, if, hey, it's big, go big or go home, right? So if it's not enough pepper, if you say, I don't know if I wanna add that much, four, five. I don't wanna add that much. Then start with maybe one or two drops, and then you can always, if you want to do a, right? <laughs> if you want to do a cream cheese frosting or something else to make it a little bit more decadent, you could always, if it's not pepperminty enough, um, when you serve it, you could always add something as a glaze on top. So 
It's super simple. Next, you wanna have a greased pan. Um, the oven, by the way, we should have been heat preheated to 350 degrees already, which ours was. And then all you need to do is, if you want parchment paper, I like to line mine with parchment paper a lot of times. And then all you have to do is pour it in. Oh, yeah. You got it? It smells so good, there you go. And so it pours in really nicely. Then you're gonna bake it for 28, 30 minutes. According to Heidi's directions, it's really a, f a foolproof recipe. And see, there's one pan, one pan. And then you'll be able to um, cut them up and serve them right away. Ava, would you go get the brownie, the pan of brownies? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Look, those are the ones that we already made. How yummy is that? So these right here, you can either, I like to just sprinkle, you can do the chalk pecans on top. So when Audrey finishes, you can start putting the pecans on top, okay? So I'm gonna tell you, while they're finishing up, I'm gonna tell you about a little experiment that I did with this recipe, trying to make Ready? blondies. And so the blondie, a blondie is basically a brownie recipe without the chocolate. And I took the same recipe and I added, when I added the flour, I did pure protein complete vanilla. And the, it looks a lot like a banana bread. Um, it's very dense. I put chopped pecans in it and the flavor it's a little bit more dense, so I'm gonna to have to experiment with it a little bit. But this would be great even, it almost looked, pieces of it, I thought, oh, that kind of looks like biscotti. It might be good for um, a, as a, a tea, mm -hmm. if you were having a tea, um, a bridal shower, a baby shower, something like that. Also, it would be really good, I think I might try to chop it up and like use it as a bread pudding, mm -hmm. like the bread for good. bread pudding. Mm, decadent. So, that is, look at how gorgeous, she, that is an awesome job. She's being very, precise with her pecan placement. So thank you so much for joining us from our kitchen. Have a wonderful time experimenting with your einkorn flour. Make sure you get Heidi's cookbook. It's phenomenal. It has so many great recipes. She's taken a lot of the guesswork out of using einkorn. Um, and hopefully next time we'll be back with some more einkorn recipes for you. Say bye, Ava. Bye-bye. Bye. Let me add something to that because you know, we do a lot of these challenges for 21 days or 30 days. However, the body, the tissues of our body can take anywhere from three to six months to actually heal with good nutrition and um, supplementation. And so if you're taking something for, you know, 20 days and you're not seeing a result and you're like, well, that didn't work, you're not giving your body enough time to actually start to Mm -hmm. um, do the healing process. And so definitely minimum 90 days on any new supplement, any new Absolutely. oil, any advice. new anything, minimum so of 90 days so before good. you reevaluate yeah. um, and yeah. decide to change yeah. something. And up. that's everything. That's, yes. everything. that's yeah. an yeah. exercise program that is yes. whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. 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 yeah, to see those results. Absolutely. And being consistent too, because you mm -hmm. can't say, I, you know, I took it sporadically and then, and then expect things to the work. Same, yeah. so <laughs> you have to be consistent. <laughs> exactly. Now, when we're talking about skin and the skin being the window to the gut, um, we I mentioned this um, in one of the earlier episodes about how if if um, one of the elimination organs is a little sluggish, mm -hmm. a little you know a little bombarded, maybe the liver. There's just been you know a lot of hormone stuff going on and lots of maybe toxic exposure just to like you said pollution mm -hmm. in the environment and it gets a little sluggish and it's needing some support and some nutritional support. Um, of course, we've got the Juva products um, for that. Um, but when that's happening and if your body's struggling um, to eliminate, your skin can end up being, you know, that next organ of elimination, which we do eliminate toxins through uh, by sweating, mm -hmm. but we weren't meant to eliminate lots of toxins mm -hmm. just that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a lot of other ways, you know, um, to, to eliminate and that's more comfortable than in your skin. And so, you know, anytime that there's someone, you know, uh, that's had any skin irritations or, you know, super dry skin, it's always like, okay, let's look at the gut and see how the gut's doing. And we, you know, enzymes are so important to help break down the toxins. Um, sulfur's on getting the MSM, you know, that's really supporting all those detox pathways is super important. I mean, there's a reason why Gary 
um, made our soul first time with 300 capsules in yeah. it. That's a lot. Yeah. And most That's of our- 10 per day, people. I know. <laughs> it really it is. Yeah. It really is because most of our supplements are, most of them are a 30 day supply. Mm -hmm. And so when you think of that, 300 capsules, like we need soul first time. We need yeah. MSM. Yeah. And so, and then we need the enzymes. And Laura, can you yeah. do your little- um, Sure. Uh, Laura's so good good at explaining our four uh, main enzyme products and, and how we use them. Well, and I, I'm not a scientist, nor do I play one on TV. But <laughs> I, I, I like to learn why I'm taking something. And if I'm going to spend money on it, I, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm being the best steward of that. So as you look at these, the enzymes, as we talked about earlier, they're responsible for just about every me metabolic function in the body. I mean, they are the workforce. If you are building a house and you have all of the supplies, you have the lumber, you have the bricks, you have everything you need to build the house, but you don't have people to actually build it, if you don't have the skilled laborers to the workforce, that house isn't going to get built. And that's what enzymes do. The, your enzymes are able to take the vitamins and minerals and the nutrients and do something with it. So that's good. when that's we, so when good. we, I really love that I'm going to steal that. Well, you can steal <laughs> so when, when we look at these four, there's two categories here. There's, um, the, uh, vegan formula and the non-vegan formula. So those, you know, decide what you want to do there. But the most important part of it then is you're going to have yours that are between the meals and that, that you're with meals. So you have um, what we call the slow response or the slow acting, and those are going to be the ones with uh, between meals. So that's your essential zyme four and your aller zyme. So you're going to take zymes. your. I'm sorry. Essential zymes and allerzymes. There we go. Those are between the. I had the right bottle. Um, the, those essential zymes and allerzymes are the ones that you take between meals, and so those are going to be on. Um, and I say between meals. If you take it before you eat, um, you know, 30 minutes before you eat too. That's that's fine for me. Um, it doesn't have to be you know clockwork exactly in between when you take meals. The other one is the essential zymes for and detox zyme. That is the category for. Um, that's your fast acting. So that's immediately with your food, you wanna take those for your digestion. So those that's how you categorize it. And these two, I mean, they can be interchanged. I have all four. And so when I travel, I love the fact that you can travel with these little blister packs and they're easy to go. Just pop one in the road, put them in the kids' lunch boxes, whatever they, whatever you need to do, they're there and ready to go. And the detox time and allerzyme are really small. Um, small capsules, so they're easy to take. These um, tablets, the essential zymes, are enteric coated, and so they do make it all the way down um, through your digestive system. They don't get broken down in your stomach. So they do have different functions, but don't just focus on one. Experiment with the different ones, use them the times they're supposed to be used, and see what, what works best for you. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. And don't discount the kids one either. Oh, oh right. 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 The yeah. chewable version. Yes. And mine is mine. Mine. Yeah. Yeah. Adults can take that. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And I know a lot of mamas that'll take a, you know, a pill crusher mm -hmm. or, you know, to, to make it into mm -hmm. a little powder. Crush it down further. So it's a mighty put in some applesauce. Is that a with food or between meal thing? For my design. Uh, We've I've always always just given it to my kids with meals mm -hmm. because it's when you think of doing it, right? Yeah. So <laughs> just do it. Just do it. When you think of it. Yeah, and for some of them, again, they they need it. You can put it in a smoothie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes you know that a lot of children don't mind the flavor. You know, it's kind of peppermint. Yeah, it's minty, and um, but then some don't, and so you can get it, you know, into their food and stuff. So that's just always how we did it. About the essentials I'm for, since it's in those little packets. Um, my kids went to school, we didn't homeschool this last year, and they went to school with a uh, cafeteria card, so they ate the food. Now, let me just say kudos <laughs> to whoever wants to make uh, the, the food better, because I've known a lot of people who want to do that. However, they didn't go to this school. Um, and so <laughs> my kids, let good. me just say, they have a card, and basically at the end of the year, we saw all the junk food that my kids <laughs> ate. And I'm not saying like this prepared food, but I'm talking about like the free, well, not free, but we paid for it, the ice cream and the chips and all that. And so I'm so glad I didn't know that they were eating this until the end of the school year, but I'm so glad that I sent them with the enzymes for... Mm -hmm. Because and they're older, so they can take the the capsules. Um, but uh, yeah, it helped him so much. And even to this day, my oldest, if he's 
eaten something that does not agree with his stomach, he's like, where are the enzymes, mom? Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm very good. Like my kids love the enzymes and understand that it really, really helps because it has helped them in their time of need. Hi, I'm Talia, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the biggest bang for your buck out of your Young Living shampoo and conditioner. So originally, when I first started using Living Young Living products, I um, was really interested in using the shampoo and conditioner, and I couldn't really get it to work for my hair, but I was determined. So this is a simple hack that you can use to not only get the biggest bang for your buck, but maybe to make your product a little bit more usable. Um, it's super simple. All you need is... Um, a bottle of the shampoo or conditioner, two mason jars, these are 32 ounce mason jars and lids, and something to stir with, and a warm tea kettle, or hot water kettle. And so all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and empty your contents of your shampoo or conditioner into a 32 ounce mason jar. So I've already got the shampoo in here, there was a little bit left in the bottle, so I went ahead and put that in there. Sometimes when you fill it up with water and shake it to get the extra shampoo or conditioner that's left, it'll a little bit of it, it will explode. So go ahead and um, pop that top and um, put it in there. And so I just go ahead and add that hot water straight into the jar. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. Now, I use a tea kettle um, for the purpose that I was originally using just hot tap water out of my faucet. And I wasn't finding that the, it was very diluting very well. And so I tried using the tea kettle. It actually worked a lot better. Um, and I think it's just because the product is so thick that it just doesn't dissolve as well if the water's not hot enough. That's totally, totally your choice, totally optional. You can do whatever you want. Um, it's just preference. Um, so I go ahead and just mix it up pretty good and um, then I add in more water to the top of this, all the way up, and then mix this in. And if your water is really hot, you might need to use a dishcloth or a, a hot pad or pot holder. Um, now what you'll notice is it kind of actually turns colors. Um, and I don't really know if that's important or not, but it does. So then once you have this one done, I pour it out half and half. It does not have to be that exact. That looks pretty good. And then I fill them both up to the top and then remix that in. Just like this. And you're ready to go. Now, <laughs> it's hot, so don't do this right before you take a shower or you're gonna burn your you're gonna burn your scalp. <laughs> so I usually do this right when I empty um, when I finish using my previous one and I let them sit overnight. I put these lids on them here. And they're very warm. Um, so I usually let them sit overnight, let them cool. It's gonna be really watery, um, but I put mine in these little squirt bottles, old time ketchup bottles. I got mine at Sam's, you can get them on Amazon. And this way I can control the flow of how much of the product comes out at one time. Um, I just use this right in my scalp. It makes the product much easier to use and um, it just goes a lot further. I already did the conditioner earlier. This one actually will thicken up pretty well overnight. This one stays a little bit more watery and you'll notice that the product actually will settle. So when you do this, make sure you, um, you know, invert your jars before you refill them or before you use them just to give it a quick mix. So once you've let your shampoo and conditioner sit overnight, you can go ahead and use a squirt bottle like this that you can get either at Sam's or on Amazon and put these, I keep these in the shower. I just refill them as needed. And these jars will last me right at about two months. 
um, in the shower and I pretty much shower, I pretty much wash my hair every day, every other day. It does not take a lot. The product still goes a long way. And so um, this is just another way for you to get the biggest bang for your buck. We're back with another video, dumb stuff with oils. <laughs> I mean, I know that this is your favorite segment of the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's our favorite. Um, so we won't tell anybody show. else. It's yes. Okay. Um, we were talking after the last show and Deanna was telling us that she's a feeler. Yeah, I feel the pain yes. whenever a hot oil is applied to a sensitive area. And so, I just laugh at you. <laughs> Yeah, but send us your stories because we really want to know and you're helping everybody. Yes. Okay. That's We're all awesome. learning from you. We're yes. So we have another laughing. video from Amber and I can't wait to see what she's going to tell us. Okay. So is she in the car still? She is. She's okay. still in her car. Let's Hopefully she has her seatbelt on this time. Let's see if she's pregnant right now. Ah. Okay. One time, um, my husband and I were trying out some oils, and we got a really spicy one in our mouth. And we were like dancing around, and we were trying to be tough and trying to like wait it out. Oh, no, and um, and I poured myself a glass of milk because I I wanted to like Which get what some fat to do, into right? my yes. mouth, Good yeah. you know, to like take the the oh, burning sensation mouth. down. <laughs> okay. And so. But I turned around to do something else, and my husband grabbed my um, glass of milk, and he drank it. And I turned around, and I was so angry because my mouth was on fire. <laughs> like, I don't know. We had, like, oregano or thyme or something that we were being macho uh, about in my kitchen. She was being macho. Yes. But why? We both had it in and their mouth? I yes. sucker punched him in the <laughs> gut. I was so <laughs> mad at him. Wow. Like, that is not milk. dumb stuff with oils. That's domestic like violence. What are you doing? Or something oh like that. Gosh. And of course, when you're on fire, you can't remember that like you could also use your, <laughs> your olive oil that or your coconut true. oil. So true. Like you're so not true. remembering no brain that tells. at that point. And so... Anyway, it does. Um, it my affects husband your, does not feel safe at home because of that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there's a, so, I think those there's are my oil for stories um, that we have. We, anything we can use in the bedroom, like that. This was a room. This is a room. And he like comes right She's in. I'm like, hey, good night. Go get your juba cleanse. <laughs> and he says, yes. Oh, and he, that's you know, just the joke. All the things. No more juba cleanse. In the bedroom. And then also, I remember now to have coconut oil on hand, like in the kitchen and ready. We know and two glasses of milk. We yes. like glasses of milk. No, you know what she's she on the face. Okay. Um, we yep, send her some all. Christmas presents. Oh. You know what she needs. Oil. I'm but telling she you. She needs some stress away. She's sucker punching people. <laughs> At least she hit him in the gut. <laughs> we need an oil called self-control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Is there any oil It's for... good to know. It's good to know. Because I'm your friend, Amber, and I'm going to be aware. I'm going to make sure I don't like... get close enough for her to sucker punch. No kidding. <laughs> 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 I thought she was so calm and mild I mean, She's a little old thing. This is what dumb stuff with oil will do to you. You become a maniac. You, you become yeah. a crazy person. We can't Lose control, control what we do. So if you can't control what you do and you do dumb stuff <laughs> send us your videos, videos. <laughs> don't choose violence though <laughs>Yeah, and here we are talking about the gut again. <laughs> our gut health, like it's connected. All of our body systems are connected. Foundational. Exactly. Yeah. And our gut is connected to every part in, in our skin. And so when our gut is not healthy, it actually will show on our skin with in various ways, whether dry skin or irritations or, or you know, um, aging, signs of aging that's very premature. And so um, thankfully we have all these wonderful um, oils and wonderful supplements to use for healthy skin. Absolutely. And when we talk about skin, we want to talk about nutrients. And what if you have kids that people that are, um, they get, they just are picky eaters. What if you have kids that are, that are, so the Ningxia greens is great because yeah. it's, mm -hmm. it's something you can add. I have added it to, I, I love to add it to pure protein complete for my kids. Mm -hmm. And I put a little tablespoon of almond butter with it because the, it is not yeah. taste free it does have a flavor to it it has the, you know, it's the greens food, it's green it's yeah. fresh food, it's, food. It's, it's, yes. but i put a little almond i put like a tablespoon of almond butter in the shake and some crushed ice and or some you can do um, frozen strawberries can i make a chocolate covered strawberry shake and put the greens in it and they have really enjoyed it so 
Mm-hmm. Working with kids, we want, um, you know, to, with taste buds, we love our taste buds to change where everybody would love everything all the time, but we go through seasons and kids sometimes have challenges. Right. And so I would definitely say Nisha Greens is a good way to help kids getting um, those things into their diets if they're not, you know, if they're eating foods when they leave home, mm-hmm. um, it's a good way to kind of start getting those back <laughs> into their, back into their <laughs> diets. So, okay, yeah. so going back to Maybe that. grown-ups, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Let me just say, going back to that story, so I was wondering why my child was having irritation on his skin, which we had cleared up, like, a long time ago. And I was like, then I saw all the things of all the ice cream. I'm like, oh. <laughs> that's why. Oh, that's why. I was like, yeah. I, like you can't, he, and that's, that's one of the points, is that if you're eating crap and you do this, Yes, it will kind of maybe stabilize it, but it's not going to help it maybe tremendously. It. Yes, okay. <laughs> it's not going to fix it. Listen, I've heard this, Deborah Starkey has said this, you cannot out-supplement a poor diet. Yeah, that's right. You can't. You're, you don't have enough money to out so you know what I mean it, it would cost you more mm-hmm. and more and more supplements you'd have to you have to take so much more to feel yeah. effects in your body mm-hmm. when you're filling your body with junk food and with just food that's that's not meant to be in additives and all that I would recommend because we're all our own health detective mm-hmm. right so yeah. we're all responsible I would recommend people really interested in learning about this to look at the individual ingredients of all four of those products and just do a little research on what some of those specific enzymes do. Yeah. I mean, just like really briefly, like I have a kiddo who um, has, he reacts to lactose and milk and everything. And so um, we use Allerzyme for him because that helps balance out his body. And he knows, I mean, he's like, I need, I need the enzyme. You know, like he, yes. he, he goes and gets it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's, you know, and so Detoxzyme has things in it. Like if you're really needing to support your liver, um, or even if, you know, after the holidays, you've had too much rich food and that, oh, that yeah. night, and then you sure. pop good. a few of those for the next day. That's Cause good. that's like, that's kind of what that's for. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, essential zymes for more j- generic and so many blister packs in there. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. it's because it's for every day. It's yeah. for like the eating, helping you with all of your food. Mm-hmm. And then essential zyme, um, just the plain essential zyme enteric coated, it's going down to your colon. So, I, I mean, I take it, I, I take like three a day. Like that's my go to because it's going to just keep my colon clean and just yeah. eat it up. So there are different purposes and you know reasons right. to take them. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. so good. So good. Yeah. So we want healthy skin from the inside out. Inside and out. we've yeah. got all the great products for that. Yep. Beauty from the inside out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching That Oil Show. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you can catch new episodes every first Tuesday of the month. And if you enjoyed learning about these amazing products and want some of your own, reach out to the person who shared That Oil Show with you.